Hi everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join us. Today I'm doing a video around parcel forwarding services. So it'll only be a quick one, but I promised some of you that I will do this video so that you know how to tap into luxury brands in other countries. So I did this because the shopping tends to be better in other countries than it does in Australia. We don't get a lot of stock. What we do get, we get very limited amounts of, um, and also we pay more money. So sometimes it is much cheaper for us to get things from overseas than it is to get them here in Australia. So I set this up wholly and solely for that. Now I had the advantage that my partner is English by birth, his family are still there, and I had used his aunt on several occasions to get things sent to me here in Australia. I would send them um, from the store to her and then she would forward them onto me. But I don't like to take advantage of people and I have a serious shopping addiction. So the poor woman spent a life at the post office for me and this just allowed me to stop relying on her and um, asking her for favors all the time. So um, I looked into it for those reasons and it has been an incredibly easy process, I have to say. I remember back in the early 2000s um, looking at things that were available in say the USA and thinking, oh my goodness, wouldn't it be great if we could buy from there and have it sent out here? But that didn't happen then. These days, lots of stores will ship to Australia without any problems or to any country without any issues. Um, but we are still restricted um, by regions when it comes to luxury houses. Um, and often we will look at websites for those luxury houses and find that other countries have much better things than we do. And why can't we tap into them? So let's find a way to work around it. So I set up an account with a company called Skypax. So that's just Sky, P-A-X, um, and they operate out of um, the UK and the US. You can have, you can use this service in both those countries. You need two separate accounts. Um, if you sign up for one um, as a premium member, then they offer you a um, the same service in the other country. Um, I haven't set up the US one yet. Um, so far, I have only set up the UK one, uh, simply because there's nothing in the US that I'm really looking at at this point. If I get to the point where I, I want things from the USA, um, I will just mirror this service there as what I'm doing now with the UK. So I did a lot of research, um, as I often do. I read reviews. I looked at different services. I came down on Skypax because they had really good reviews um, and they seemed really simple to use. And for me, that's highly important. Um, so they have um, two rates. So you can use their service for free, which is a standard service. Um, and that's aimed at a one-time shipment or occasional use. So you sign up with an account um, and they give you an address where the items are to be sent. They are sent in your name um, and you're given a suite number. So when I look at my address for them, it's my name, a suite number, and then the rest of the address of where it's going. So when I buy things, that's how I fill them out on the address page. My name, a suite number as you would an apartment number or um, a house number, and then the actual address itself. So it's really very simple. Um, so they do have free service where you set up an account and you will just pay for the on shipping from there. Um, to use that service. So if you're not looking at doing it very often, then that is most certainly um, an option for you that isn't going to cost you the earth or an, a, 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 an annual fee. I chose to do um, a premium service and I paid 90 pounds for that. So for me in Australia, that was about 160, 150, 60 dollars, somewhere around there. Um, and that's for ships frequently. <laughs> Anyone who watches my channel is laughing right now because let's face it, I, <laughs> I am probably a frequent shopper. Um, and then I get um, 
a 10% discount on using um, services to then get my items shipped from them to me. Um, I get fairly fast turnaround. I get, um, I, they will hold packages for me for up to 60 days. Um, they will condense packages down for me. So if I've got a few things coming in at once, um, then they will then put that in one box. So when I on ship it from them, it doesn't cost as much money because I'm only shipping one item instead of 15 little ones. Um, there's insurance, um, extra insurance that I get. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a range of extras that I get because I'm a premium service. I can also have multiples, um, multiple address, uh, sorry, names attached to my account. So if other people are shopping under my account, say my partner wants to buy something, um, I simply set him up on my account with his name. He ships it in his name with our suite number and the address. So um, I can have multiple people on that. So, you know, if Dale from Dale's Addiction said to me, Meredith, I, I really want to buy this and she just wanted to deal with herself, I could add her to my account without any issues um, and she could just on like do the whole thing herself. Um, so those options are there with the premium service. So it's really really simple. I've got to say, I, I can't fault it. So I currently have something in transit at the moment. I have previously done two orders. Um, I did one for me and one for Dale. Um, so basically I buy it. I hop on the website. Um, the two previous orders have been through the Fendi website and the current one that I've got in transit at the moment is coming from Dior. Um, so I hop on the website. I find what I want to buy. I will obviously do the math and go, yes, it's much cheaper to do it this way, even with all the additional costs that I'm going to have. Um, check out like you would anything else. You fill out your address as the address that you have been given by Skypax or whatever company you're, uh, um, you're using. I, I can't speak to other companies. I've only used Skypax. But with Skypax, I just hop on. I give them the address that Skypax has given me. I check out like always my normal credit card details and I'm off. Done. I get my confirmation to say that um, I've ordered something and then I wait for my shipping notification from Fendi, Dior, or whoever it is I'm ordering from. So they will then ship it direct to um, the address that I give them. Skypax has people there who sign for packages um, and then log them through their system. So once they receive your item, they will log it into their system. Now, there, this is the only time that there will be lag time. So from the time it reaches them um, at their address in London um, or New York or sorry, not York or wherever it is in the US, from the time it reaches them to the time it shows up on your um your login account with Skypacks, it can be up to 48 hours. So you've just got to accept that that for that 48 hours, it's a bit like radio silence. You know, it's been delivered to them, but it hasn't actually shown up on your account yet. So they're still getting it to that point. When they receive it, they open it. Please keep this in mind. They will open it and make sure it doesn't have contraband in it. They will check it and take a photo for you, which you can then view on your login account. They will then reseal it and wait for instructions from you. So you've now got a photo to say that they've got it and that could be 48 hours after it's actually arrived to them. So you've got to just maintain um, radio silence and cope with that. Um, you can email them and I have done that with the very first package I had sent. It hadn't shown up and I was over 48 hours. And I was like, where is it? And they're like, and it literally showed up within, you know, minutes of me sending that. Like they couldn't have read the email before they, they saw my, like they couldn't have seen my email come in and reacted that quickly. I was just jumping the gun. Um, so you look at it, you look at the pictures and then they go, and then basically on your online account, you then choose what you want to have happen next. So you then organize to get it sent to you in your country. In my case, I get it sent to here in Sydney, Australia. Um, I choose the service that I want. So they've already weighed the box, um, and get, done the dimensions and everything. So you are literally just clicking along. Okay. So I want to send this now. The next step is who do you want to send it with? So you've got FedEx, DHL, and you've got a whole range of services that you can send it with. Um, I will generally send DHL because um, it's pretty quick and I trust them and I haven't ever had any issues with DHL. FedEx is there. There's um, a, many of the big brands are there, so you'll recognize them. Um, you choose that service and then they give you a fee. So they tell you how much that's going to cost to get from here to there. 
Um, <clears throat> so you will then sign off on that, pay your money to them for that service. So I, you know, DHL is going to cost you 60 pounds. Okay. I pay 60 pounds. Do you want to add express service? And I usually do. So my express services so far have meant from the time that I have paid from it for it to the time that they have shipped it out has been less than an hour. So they turn it around super quick. Um, and I will also generally pay extra for insurance so that I know that I'm covered if it goes missing. So you pay for all of that and they ship it out. It goes out with DHL. You get the shipping notification from DHL to say it's on its way and you can track it again through DHL. If you are, tra if you are having things come into Australia then and they are over a certain amount of money, you will pay duties on it when it hits our shore. So um, for some of my stuff, especially for my Fendi First, uh, this one. I got this direct from the US, uh, for, sorry, direct from the UK because I couldn't get it anywhere else. Um, I paid duties on that. So I told them in my shipping notification how much it was worth. It hit Australian Shores. DHL sent me a text message, said, you owe this much in duties. I paid it then and there and they just on sent it. If it's under a th certain threshold, which I believe is a, a thousand Australian dollars, I'm hoping I'm correct on that, um, then there are no duties to pay. It will just forward through onto you without stopping for anything. So yeah, it will just forward onto you without stopping um, at any point. So that's a really clean process. Um, there is room to lie. There is always room to lie. So you can say that it is not worth the amount that it is worth and say it's worth less than that. So you don't pay duties. But that's always a risk too. So if they work it out, then they're going to charge you for it. Or if it gets lost and you've only said it's worth $3.50, then that's what you're insured for. So keep those things in mind also. What's more important to you, the duties or um, the item if it goes missing? So um, there's there's room to work around it, but just, just, just be a little bit careful. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> um, and then it just, it arrives like anything else through DHL. It just arrives. So... From the time uh, I bought my Fendi first, so they shipped this out straight away, uh, Fendi did. So from Fendi to Skypax was um, overnight and then Skypax took 48 hours to log it into their system and I did it as soon as it showed up in the system, I did it. So um, did the shipping and got it all ready to go and they had that out within an hour and DHL had it for three days. Three days from Skypax to me in Sydney, Australia, it was three days. So this was a five-day process. Three, four, five, six. It was a six-day process. Six days from the time I ordered this online on the Fendi UK website to the time it arrived at my office in Sydney, Australia, was six days. I thought that was pretty impressive. Considering it had gone through a parcel forwarding service, I was pretty impressed. This bag retail in the UK is about a thousand dollars less than if I had bought it in Australia, if it was available. It was, uh, I saved about a thousand dollars by buying it in the UK. The amount of money I paid for the parcel forwarding service, DHL and all my customs and duties, I still saved money or I just broke even, which was fine for me because I couldn't get this in Australia. So to even break even was well worth it because I couldn't get it here. On items that I haven't paid duties on because they have not um, met the threshold of how much they cost, we've saved we've saved money. We've saved a couple of hundred dollars. My current Dior order that is coming um, will save roughly $600, $700 Australian for me buying from the UK website, even with the extra cost of posting it at twice. Like Dior pays the cost from them to my parcel forwarding service. The shipping is always included in the cost. Um, I'm then paying shipping from there to Australia. I won't pay duties on it because um, it doesn't meet the threshold. So at the end of the day, I will come out about six or $700 in front. So for me, it is well worth it. It's worth it to have it the premium service because I know I'm going to use it constantly. And then um, I have the same address all the time and I'm happy with that. So 
for me, Skype hacks has been super simple, super easy. It's an intuitive system. It there you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work it out. If you want it, it is there for you. Skype hacks is mirrored in the US, like I said. So if you want a US address um, and forward things from there, then that is definitely an option for you to use their service there in the US. And there are others for um, parcel forwarding services out there that you can look at. I'm not familiar with any of them. I only know how Skype hacks works because that's what I'm using. So the, the system is there to work around the, the um, issues that we have with getting stock that we want and then getting it at a reasonable price. Those systems are definitely there for us. Um, so by all means, if that's something that you're looking at doing, then I suggest Skypax as an option for you. Um, they've been really easy to work with. If you've liked today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe down below. If you've got any questions or comments um, or you want to have a chat, please, by all means, put them in the comments down below. I'll come back to you or you can come find me over on Instagram. I'll throw up my handle for you and you can ask me questions in the DMs over there. Um, I'm super interactive on Instagram, so please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.